Peggy 18. Hi, this is Ashraf Ismail, game director of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, and we're here to give you a taste of our Caribbean open world. At this point, we are catching up with Edward in between missions, and we need to head to Havana for an important meeting. With Black Flag, we wanted to bring you an open world unlike anything you've experienced before, our most unique world with massive cities, but also a Caribbean environment that is filled with exploration potential. The world is filled with a lot of loot, a lot of treasures to find. As we see here, there's a sailor. We're gonna loot him and we're gonna find a treasure map. Treasures are very important in the progression of Edward and the Jackdaw itself, which is your ship. This treasure map is asking us to go to an island called Mysteriosa. Mysteriosa is fairly close by, but as we zoom out, we can see how massive this world really is. We have over 50 unique locations. Uh, these are big places that you have a lot of things to find and do. This is the Jackdaw. This is the second main character of the game. This is your baby. You need to take care of it. You need to upgrade and customize it because it's going to be with you for the long haul. Here's our first mate, Otowale. Otowale is very important in the story. He helps you gain the Jackdaw and gain his crew. In the distance, we can see Spanish and British ships fighting each other. Uh, we can jump into that fight and take advantage of them weakening each other off. But instead, we're gonna head to Mysteriosa for that treasure. We can see that there's a storm building up. Storms are very dangerous. They're a big threat in this world. If you don't navigate them properly, you will take damage and you will lose crew members. Mysteriosa is a Mayan ruin, one of the unique 50 locations we have in this world. Everything you find, everything you do, has some type of value for you. There's lots of hidden artifacts, treasures, and activities to discover. We know from the treasure map that the treasure is up near that temple to the top of this location, so this is where we want to go. Now, as we get going, we're going to see that there's a lot of guards in our way. We can choose to go in guns blazing and fight, but instead we're going to try to get there as fast as we can. Using Edward's navigation ability, we can scale this temple without a problem. Now that we've reached the top, we know that the treasure is near that fountain. Now that we've found the treasure, what we've actually found is a blueprint. Blueprints are required for the biggest upgrades on the Jackdaw. To be able to face the toughest challenges in this game world, you will need to upgrade the Jackdaw to its fullest capacities. You can see a lot of ambient life in this world. Uh, iguana over there, some birds. The world is as filled as possible with tons of ambient life, but also predators. As we go to head off Mysteriosa, we're gonna do a reach high point. Reach high points work as before, revealing the contents of the location, but as an added feature, now they are also fast travel points. So now that we're back in the ocean, we see our British frigate patrolling the area. Using the spyglass, we're able to see that it has a lot of cargo. Cargo is very important for you to get those upgrades. Here, you can see the upgrades that we've done to the naval combat. The basic round shot is trajectory based. This comes in very handy when you have big waves that you need to shoot over. By hitting the hull and not the sails, we also expose weak points to do extra damage. As we get in close, we're going to unleash the heavy shot. Uh, this is the shotgun in the naval. When a ship is demasted, it's the cue that the ship is now boardable. Virtually every ship in this game world is boardable. Boarding is very important in AC4. As a pirate, this is something you need to do to gain cargo and to plunder the ship. Here, we start the boarding from any angle, any orientation we wish. We have two objectives. One is to take out the crew, so we're gonna use the swivel gun. Uh, we could have jumped into the water instead. We can climb up the mast and take advantage over the enemy crew. We can even swing with a rope uh, to go in guns blazing. But now that we've taken out some of the crew, uh, we're gonna go after the captain using Edward's abilities to navigate. 
We wanted to show off the navigation potential when you have these two ships come together like this. Again, seamlessly being able to jump from one ship to another, take out the captain by surprise and win the boarding. Now that we've won, we can see the loot we've gained on the right side of the screen, uh, but you have three options to do with every ship that you plunder. We can release the crew to gain crew members, we can send the ship to our fleet, or we can salvage and repair the ship if we took too much damage during the fight. For now, we're gonna gain some crew members. Now that we have cargo and the blueprint, we can now build the upgrade. Uh, fishermen villages are the perfect place to find that harbor master who will build that upgrade for you. So let's do that now. The Jackdaw has many upgrades, uh, four weapons, four defenses, four utilities, and you will need most of these upgrades to take out the, the biggest challenges in this game world, the biggest enemies to fight. But you don't only upgrade the Jackdaw, you also upgrade Edward. This is where harpooning comes in. You use the harpooning system with hunting to get the goods to be able to upgrade the number of weapons Edward can carry, the number of pistols he has, even his armor. But for now, we're gonna continue our journey to Havana. Uh, in our path, we see that there's a fort. It's blocking our way to Havana, so we need to have mastered the naval combat to take this fort out. But since we've recently upgraded the mortar, let's use it to take out the fort towers. Now that the defenses and the towers are down, we still have to infiltrate the fort. And this is where we see Edward and his crew raiding the environment. We're looking for the fort commander. Taking out the commander gives us ownership over the fort. A fort that you own will work for you. It will attack your enemies. It also unlocks a bunch of side missions that are linked to the fort itself. Now that we've taken the fort, we can finally reach Havana, and this is something that you'll see in an upcoming video.